Okay, this is a very quick and dirty uh, video log. My LG G4 has uh, adopted the infinite boot loop problem. And uh, this happened while I was at work. Gee, my phone is sure hot. Oh. And I'm a kind of person that relies on my phone pretty heavily, and now I've got to uh, rush out and replace it. It's also coincidental that uh, my warranty on the phone uh, expired two days ago, uh, along with uh, my contract, thankfully. So I'm going to have to make a quick uh, replacement on this fellow. Yeah, I'm going to document the process of me trying to uh, essentially uh, disable the big cores to try and boot into it to get uh, my SMS recovery working. So let's see how that works. Sorry, we're going to be jumping around here today, um, but as you can see, it's uh, quite stuck on that boot loop. And the instructions that uh, LG give essentially is it's a mainboard replacement, so the phone is pretty much in terms of what I can do with it. Uh, done because I can't really go without a phone and you know that's kind of my fault this isn't gonna be whatever phone I get isn't gonna be the one that I was hoping for but that's what happens when you have to do a blitz upgrade sometimes you don't get Mr. Right you get Mr. Right now and uh, we'll see what my carrier uh, can do for me and if I can get anything even remotely good so while I'm trying to do uh, this little bit of hackery, I'm also going to have Dave2D's YouTube channel and uh, maybe Mobile Tech Review as well up there. And uh, if Western Gents United has anything on phones, I'll be definitely checking him out as well um, while I try and uh, fix this little problem. Alright, after a lot of really janky stuff, I guess the kids say, I have finally got it doing a firmware update. Uh, writing a custom TOT file to it, um, but yeah, it's not, uh, not a process that I have a huge amount of confidence in. It's just barely keeping a USB connection, and what I'm actually trying to do is disable the big core so I can get this thing to boot, and yeah, I, I don't... I don't think that we're, I don't know how much luck we're gonna have. The main thing that I'm trying to do uh, here is to get it to boot just long enough that I can tell it to do an SMS recovery so all of my texts and contact and information is saved. Past that, uh, everything else is either on the Google Play account or the SD card inside. If I can get it to do that, I will be happy. So fingers crossed. So it turns out because I'm running uh, Android 6.0, the TOT files were designed for recovery from 5.1. I would need to flash Lollipop and then do this to disable the cores, but if I'm flashing the OS, then the data's gone anyway. So, yeah. If you have an LG G4, get rid of it. Get rid of it as fast as you can because your time is coming. In all seriousness though, I don't know how widely this problem is going to affect people, but uh, that's super inconvenient. Uh, thankfully for me, my last SMS backup was four days ago, I think, so I'm not out too much, but as you can imagine, that's still super inconvenient. Beginning of the day at work, your phone just gets up and dies. Uh, no warning. Uh, no hope of a real recovery. Um, you have to replace the hardware to fix it, which is a crying shame. So I will let you know what I get next, I guess.